All right. So here is how I set up the drills, pistons, and rotors. Now this is actually a really old design, and it's probably the most basic, and it's extremely huge for my actual needs. Um, but anyways, on to what I was asked. Let's do the drills here, and I believe I hid them. Yeah. I hid them so the terminal wouldn't be uh, crowded with drills and pistons. And then I put them all in a group. And to group them, select all the ones you want. And then come over here and name them. But we already have that. You know this guy. This way I can just click on this and then hit toggle block on. And then just like that, they're all on. Next, we need to have it rotate. So we'll grab our advanced rotor. And it's turned off right now. But I set the velocity to just 0.5 or 0 0.05, which you can just control click this little bar here. And then you can type in manually what you want it to be. If you set it too low, It'll show that it's zero 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 RPM, but it's actually set to what you set it to. And then, so I turned on rotor lock for now. So we're going to disable that now. And you don't actually need your braking torque. That's just to stop it when you turn it off. So while it's running, I just leave this off. Oops. And then just uh, hit your share inertia tensioner. And then also for all your pistons, you're going to want to do the same thing. You're going to want to select all these. And you're going to want to enable inertia tensioner. And then we already have one that's like I've been slowly adjusting. But what I do is I just take all of my pistons and I just leave them alone. And then slowly over time, as there's space between the bottom and the bottom surface of this drill, as you can see, there's quite a bit of space there. So that's probably like 1.7 uh, meters. So this one I'm just going to extend all the way. So that was, what, 0.4? Point six, I don't remember. Then we can grab this guy. Wrong. Wrong duda. Oh, yeah, I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, so by default, it'll be set to 10. So I'm going to do 1. And then I'll just hit reverse. But uh, let's make sure this is negative 0. Point one. Then I'll hit reverse. And then positive is when it extends itself. And then it's only going to extend itself by one meter. And now we are mining. And this rotor is set to point, uh, zero 0.05 revolutions per minute. So it will take it quite a while to go around in one revolution. But uh, it's it covers such a large surface area that uh, actually fully utilizing this thing, I need to build like probably like 10 more uh, cargo containers, which is pretty cheap considering our mining operations here. And we also have quite a bit of uh, refineries as well. Eventually what you're going to want to do is get a bunch of uh, yield modules because this will double your output of material to uh, resources mined. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching and thanks for the comment. And I hope that helps with your issue. I also have other um, mining videos and I haven't been posting a lot because I've been having weird audio bugs and just recently I discovered what the fix was and I just 
reinstalled OBS and uh, reset my filters and everything, and it seems to fix the issue, but we'll see. Thanks for watching.